So let's take a look at how we can tweak and change the particle effect of our little toaster cake. Because somebody is not super convinced and um, feel that this is the right effect. So um, so let's uh, let's take a look at how we can make that better. Um, a good place to start is the mod samples. And let's start out by um, basically just uh, stealing from there. So let's take the cake, the dummy cake here. Because then we can take the effect of that, copy it, jabing jabang. What is it Danny says? Like, I can't remember that thing he says, but he's basically just stealing like that. Boom, is now our effect. So we removed the original effect and we renamed, whoops, we renamed this, whoops, to just effect because now it's our effect. And then we remember to put that effect into the cake's settings. Perfect. So already here, we are pretty good to go except we're not. So, and why are we not that? First of all, we zero zero out the effect here at first to see it goes to the center. And that's super awkward and weird that we are not really centered. Okay. Um, why is that? Why is the effect so, oh, maybe. Have we moved some of this? Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. So, but the reason I get confused is because you can see the the center of the effect is down here. And why is that? I it's not. I'm not even you know playing now and pretending. I have freaking no idea why it's down here. It should be up here. I would expect. Hmm. Let's see. What is wrong here? Um, because we, we need to align it a little and move it so it fits, but 0.0.0, .0 I would expect, should be in the middle of the toaster. So why isn't it there? 0 .0 0.0.0, that's, that's here. That is the center, and this is in center. This is in center, this is in center. So why is this so? Uh, mm. Mm. So we can see this one is uh, in the center, in the center, in the center, in the center. I'm looking at this and you can see this one explosion for some reason. It's all the way down there because the tr sub trials are all the way down there. Why is that you ask? I have no freaking clue. It must be a mistake. I don't know. Um, and the thing is that the sub trials sub -tri trials is already the position is set when they are spawned, so it doesn't really matter. But it matter when we look at the effect here because we get all confused. Okay, so we are back. This is fixed. Maybe I should fix that in the real effect. But anyway, now you have seen how it can be fixed and how you can kind of yeah try and fix it. So the effect we need to have that kind of above the toaster because naturally things would come out of here. Um, again, I don't know why we're not s fully centered, but I guess that can be still something wrong. There is still something wrong with something. This one. Don't be annoying. No, yeah. Okay, and this. Let's see if we are messing something completely up here but i'm showing you how i would fix it and then you can learn from that hopefully because you will run into the same problems so now you can see they are all in the center here and i moved it up a little to be just a right above the toaster okay so if we start this effect what happens then so you see here the first problem they kind of shoot the wrong way right um there's different ways to try and fix that. Often what I do is that I basically, because I think, let's see, show only selected. Let's see. Okay, so it is that one. What I often do is I move it a little further up than you might would have done in the first place. But the thing is, you cannot, you won't see that. You won't see that it's all the way up here. So we can move it down here. So now you can see it actually works. It shoots up here. So that's good. So just by moving it up a bit, um, I fixed that problem. The problem happens because the particles collide with the 
with the collider on the toaster itself. So moving it up a bit, we get it out of that collider so it doesn't collide with that. If that doesn't work for you, you most likely need to go down here to collision and then change the scale here because this one starts at one. So I'm pretty sure I will get the problem here. Yeah, you can see I get the problem here and it doesn't matter. I need to move it way too far up for this to work. So I don't know why the collision is so big by default. You know, one is very, very big for some reason. So going down to 0 0.3, 0 0.2 or something like that is often much better and, and works much better. So now you can see it shoots up because the collision area of the particle is much smaller. So it shoots up and that looks pretty good because we just stole the effect. Um, uh, maybe I should explain these launch physics, launch physics and explosion physics. Um, no, let's just let's stay with the particle system. Let's just for now, let's just uh, build the mod and see it in game, just so we we know how it looks. And we are already six minutes in, so I don't know if that this is actually gonna be more than this. I don't want to make these videos too long because then you are bored to death. So let's try out our toaster here, toaster sprayer, boom. Let's see, maybe we should put a little sound on it so we can hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's make a, okay, let's make a simple one. You can see it shoots up there, dun, 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 dun. all great. Let's change the, um, its screen now here. Let's go in and say, okay, um, bum, 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 bum. cake effect here. So let's take first look here. By selecting this effect and selecting show only selected, I will only see the effect of this particular one. We can do like that so we can better see it. So there you can see it shoots out. If it goes too fast for you, you can scale, uh, speed it down. So you can do it like this, whoops. So now it's like 20% of the speed. So it's a little easier to see. So this particle system, it is shooting out this particle. So, so what we change over here is this particle. It might have some sub emitters. Yep. And sub emitters means that it will start another particle system either on when it dies, that means when this particle dies, it will spawn something. When it's when it's born, it would spawn something. For instance, you can see here the launch uh, muscle and smoke. So when this particle is launched, it will spawn one of these, um, um, this one. And you can see if we do like this, now we have this selected and we only see that one. So you can see if hopefully in a moment, boom. So you see that one goes off. Anyway, um, let's just go back here. So let's boom. So we have it here. So we have this green one going up here and it also has some trails. It has some, yeah. So basically what we can do with this, let's change this color to, let's say dark blue. So now it's dark blue. So the initial particle that comes out and shoots up is blue. This particle, if I'm not mistaken, have a trial, trail, sorry, tail, trail, trail of these white ones here. Um, they are white now. We could make them, they, it, this one is blue. Let's just, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but well, let's make them green. So the trail will now be green. So we can see this one is blue and the trail is green. We can see we'll go up like that. Boom, and then the explosion happens, which is this one. We can we can say show selected only again, and you can see that is blue, so that's fine. And I think, but you can maybe get confused that the starting color is white, but why is it blue then? Well, that's because this one is blue, and in the sub emitters, when it dies, it have an um, explosion. This is this particle system. So when the initial particle goes up and it dies. The moment it dies, it spawns another particle system, which is the explosion, and it inherits the color. 
So that means that the color of the original particles, particle will be passed on to this explosion. And that's why the explosion matches. Yeah, if I could. Yeah. That's why the explosion matches the, um, the color of the original particle. Okay. Um, so that explosion have some sub trials, which is now marked as, and you can see it have sub emitters, and you can see on birth it will start doing these sub trials. The sub trials are all these ones spawned behind the blue explosion particle. I know this is, but this is how it is. I know it's confusing, and that's why see a video like this and then just play around with it, and you will learn. So if we change that to inherit color, these will also be blue. So now the explosion go blue and you can see they also inherit the color. So they are also blue. Um, the the, tr the trails of the explosion particles. I don't know if it makes sense. It's very hard to explain. Um, maybe you can find a better tutorial on YouTube uh, explaining the particle in, in detail. This was kind of my attempt. Um, However, I will do another video about something that is a little more specific to Fireworks Mania. That's something I haven't seen others do, but I guess others have done it too. But I do it a little special in some case when it comes to the render. But um, I will do another video about that. Let's see here. Now it should be blue. Blue and green, right? And blue. So let's add moon in here. So um, this is one way of changing the particle system. Start out by stealing by, from the mod samples and copy that one up as I showed in the beginning and then tweak that and change that and see whatever it does, see what happens. And if it all goes bonanza and it doesn't work, yeah, take a new copy from the mod, mod samples um, and try again. But uh, good luck and this is how you tweak some of the particle effects.